what we have here is the prosperity gospel. This, this gospel that's skewed and distorted and doesn't get anybody into heaven, it makes you think that you can buy your way into heaven and buy your way into the graces of God and use the gifts of God. We see it happen right here in Acts chapter number 8, same book that we're in. Move up a few, 18 to 23. Let me read for you. It's a man named Simon. Let me give you the context of Simon. Simon was a sorcerer. In verses 18 says, When Simon saw that through the laying on of the hands of the apostles, the Holy Spirit was given, watch this, he offered them money, saying, Give me this power also that any one of whom I lay hands on may receive the Holy Spirit. Pause for a moment. What you need to understand is Philip actually thought Simon was saved. That's not an indictment on Philip. But Philip saw the fruit of Simon's life. He moved from sorcery to now like showing signs that he was following Jesus until his true heart was exposed. He saw the apostles laying hands and he said, oh, wait a minute. I want to do that too. So he goes in his bankroll and he approaches Peter <laughs> and he says, let me buy that from you. Well, this is what Peter's response is, and, and I'm going to read it for you in its original form because I love when the Bible does this. Uh, verse 20, Peter says, to hell with you and your money. <laughs> no, no, no. Go to the Greek. If you read it in its original form, that's exactly what it says. Peter says, and I'm going to read for you what this rendition says, your money perish with you, but Peter really said, to hell with you and your money. That's how serious this issue of the prosperity gospel is. It's damnable, and it should be condemned to hell. He says, because you thought that your gift or the gift of God could be purchased. So in other words, come put a little something in the offering, and God's going to bless you. What about the church mother that's been given in her entire life and ain't never got rich, but she's been faithful to God? What about her, preacher man? Well, she didn't have enough faith with her seed. To hell with you and your preaching. That's damnable and it should be condemned to hell. And so stop it and miss me with this Mickey Mouse watered down handsome preaching that we got going out there on TBN and all over. See, that's the misrepresentation of the gospel. For some reason, the media keeps on wanting to portray that gospel. Y'all better wake up. Why is it that they keep pushing that gospel out there, but the true gospel seems to be suppressed? Because the media don't want you to know the true gospel. Because they want you to continue to be like Simon. Think that you could buy your way into the kingdom. The hell with you and your money. 